paid $3,110 for this storage unit belonging to a money loaded police officer. We pulled out thousands of collectibles and today we're gonna finish this storage unit off and show you the best stuff that was all the way in the front. Let's do it. Let's start with the shoe box here in the front. That does not sound like any shoes I've ever worn unless there's some really unique ones. No, more cars. How many cars do you think we pulled from this unit? What is that? That is not a car. That is a car, but it's like, it's a metal something. It's, what in the heck is that? Uh, there's a watch in here. It says relic on it and a few pictures. That's kind of not what I was expecting. Oh, hold on. There's like a signed baseball card in here too. Look, this picture here is signed. It's silver. That's cool. Okay, this look. Oh, come on. There's some random signed 91 Fleer baseball card. What else is in here? Oh, that's signed too. Oh, hmm, what is this? These are like random pictures of like race cars. I guess mm -hmm. probably from attending an actual race in person. Ooh. Yeah, okay, we'll put that aside. And then in here, well, we just have a bunch of die cast cars. It looks like some of them are the older ones, the date on here, 90s. So, yeah, 1997. A lot of them are metal, like this guy here. So, another easy little bit of cash. I have another Duke basketball here. I don't know if this one's signed or if it's just a Duke ball. Uh, I don't see a signature on this. Oh, look. This is from the Final Four NCAA 2001. This is a 23-year-old. I don't know if this is maybe game used. It says Road to the Championship and everything right there. This might be a game used ball. If not game used, and definitely, you know, one of the collectible ones. And people have made it abundantly clear in my comments that Duke fans are serious fans and they got money, so I'm happy to find the Duke stuff. This guy, oh look. It's a Star Trek lunch tray. That's pretty cool. The bottom's got some meh on it, but I mean, this thing's old, you can tell. So it's gonna have some wear, of course. And it's got an auction tag on it. So he definitely either bought it from an auction or was planning to sell it in an auction. One of the two. Black, ooh, look what I see here. Boom, Madden 95 on Sega Genesis. Yeah, that's actually in there. Madden 95, the case got a little smashed on the side, but you don't usually find Genesis games in the case. Oh, this one's got the box too, Sonic and Knuckles. Hold on. Let's see, that's actually got the cartridge in there. I don't want to take it out because it's like still folded over. Cartridge, manual, and everything. That's a complete Sonic and Knuckles. That's pretty cool. This one here is, uh, let's see, Big Hurt, like a baseball game. And I don't see the cartridge in this one. Uh, yeah, this one doesn't have a cartridge. This one will be box only. But still, a lot of these older games, the boxes are sometimes worth more than the actual cartridge because they're harder to find. And then we have the Genesis NFL Football 94 Gosh, open. That is complete. That's pretty cool. What else is in? Oh, look at this. Oh, the other side smashed. That's a ready to rumble Nintendo 64 in box. I see the manual, the cartridges, everything. It still has the original plastic on it. This was probably sealed and probably smushed when he stored it, but it's not often you find Nintendo 64 games that are still in the original seal. That's cool. This metal Tonka here is black. I wonder if they spray painted this or do they actually make like black ones? I don't know. I feel like I'm so used to every Tonka you see being yellow. And it says Tonka right here on it. So, huh. Yeah, look right here. It looks like they might have, oh, that's actually paper. Huh, hmm. that's weird. But it is another old metal Tonka. I don't know if, like I said, if it's spray painted or not. You guys in the comments might know, let me know. It's not gonna stay. Is it? <laughs> Put on the ground. Stay right there. <laughs> there you uh -huh. go. That works. Let's go to this bag right here. Oh, this bag just screams vintage. I don't know why. It just looks vintage. What is that? Whoa. Some type of golden car, it's still in its original plastic. It says Alan Jackson on the side. One of 2,500 two car sets, it's like include a certificate. Country music person. There's only yeah, 2,500 of them in the world, and this one's still sealed. I bet you that's pretty rare. <laughs> that's a printed though. I was about to say, well, is that signed? But that would again, pretty impressive they signed it to the plastic. Yeah. Unless they signed it before it was packaged. And put a red stroke on it. <laughs> <laughs> pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. There's another race car right here. This right here. Another one of this is what was in that first box we found. Something that looked like that. There's actually six of them. Oh, look. Yeah. There you go. That's pretty cool. No telling what it originally went to, but Monopoly NASCAR edition. That's unique. The box is beat up, but I can't. It looks old. Mm, look, even the money's different. Huh. Might be an older version. The problem with board games is you never know if they're complete or not. So there's that. Night or God's game plan. Then we have. Ugh. That's a Dale Earnhardt American flag NASCAR still in box. Everything Dale Earnhardt is very valuable. I didn't even think to check the front of the bag, but there's stuff in there too. What is it? Let's see. Oh. A razor and a charger <laughs> and a bunch of Q-tips. That's nasty. What about this one here? This one's got a bunch of old chewing gum. Yay. Guard. There's a dime in there. It's stuck to the gum. If somebody wants to rip the old gum off, they can have the dime. I recognize what's in this box already. I see 
Princess Diana Beanie Baby. You wanna have some fun? Screenshot this or just go ahead and Google Princess Diana Beanie Baby and look at some of those listing prices. People have them listed for like 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars. Now, we still usually get about 20 to 40. It is a rarer one, but I don't think it's fetching 50K anywhere personally. If you get it, more power to you, but I don't think I can get 50K for it. <laughs> Oh look, it's a cousin. There's a pink version. These are all Beanie Babies, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, but they all have their tags that I've seen so far, so I will take them. On average, they're kind of like the dolls, the, what are they called? The, what are those dolls called we found last time? Porcelain, Porcelain dolls? dolls. Most of them aren't going to be worth a whole lot, but there's just random ones that are in there that are worth lots of money. But I'm probably just going to lot them up and sell them on whatnot in a big lot. Even these guys that have the protected tag on it, nicer ones. But yeah, this whole box here is completely full of Beanie Babies. These things are when you know you're going to a good birthday party when I was a Kid. The blue the ones. Blue, the blue one's the best. It's the only yeah, one I like, yeah. actually. I didn't care for any of the other ones, but I don't think that's what's in here. Oh, Star Wars. Let's go. We only haven't found too much Star Wars. I'm trying to look for a date on these. These are 1997, so they're they're nice older. Condition. Yeah, they're in really good shape compared to a lot of other things. This guy even has an old Walmart tag on it from, yeah, 97. This might be a complete set. Look on the back. One, two, three, four, five of them. Hmm. See that guy right here? This guy. He's not on there. Okay, I don't okay, know. Okay, not that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure, but there's five of them on the back and there's only four figures, but they're in beautiful shape. Check this out, Dukeopoly. Another Duke game, but this one is still in the original plastic, which obviously makes it a lot better because we know nothing's missing on it. So that's cool. It's got a little nick in the plastic there, but still brand new. It's even got like one of those holographic seals right there, which is always good. It usually means it's gonna be worth a little more, easier to look up. Let's go to this big craftsman. Oh my gosh. This is an old craftsman set. It's got a Sears sticker on it. That's beautifully nostalgic there. Let's see. It definitely feels like it's in there. Wow. Well, it's in there, all right, but. Don't move this at all so we can close it. I know. It. <laughs> I have to try to close it and flip it. Let's see if we can do this. Ready? This is going to be like a little trick here. Let's see. Close. Oh, nope, no, it won't close already. No. Nope, we already did too reach. much. We already did too much. But <laughs> ah. I'm gonna assume this thing's probably complete because I see the wrench part head sticking out right there. I know Craftsman's got a pretty good following, so maybe a vintage one like that might be worth even more. Don't start coming out. I'm telling you, don't do it. Go back in there. Go back in there. Oh, it's staying out. Just leave it. Okay. Just leave it. <laughs> then we have a Rampage purple brand new like sheet set right there. Still in the original plastic. Not bad. We got another m&m collector that one looks older that looks like the old m&m commercial like well we found the one with the jukebox which looks cool but yeah. they look more modern that looks like an older yeah like the face looks older yeah it does good job slim shady he just dropped a new album who's listening to it <laughs> <laughs> let's see here oh this has got a battery hanging out of it right here so some type of rc car a ford f-150 xlt off-road got the battery pack here what makes certain ones expensive <laughs> heck if i know there's like a whole cult following for rc vehicles it's crazy i've got into that rabbit hole on youtube sometimes just out of curiosity i mean there's ones worth thousands of dollars this guy is more modern looking the figure itself great shape the box obviously not so much but you know the figure itself is still in good shape so still happy with that let's put you right there thank you let's go to this box here oh hey i like what i see right here hold on uh, look at this PlayStation 3 console. Now this one's gonna be worth about a hundred bucks. What you want to look for right here, you see how there's get that out. Two USB ports here. If you see one that has four USB ports, it means it's the backwards compatible one, and those can go between two and three hundred bucks. So that's the one you want to find, but that's still a good hundred dollars in there. Then this is a NASCAR. Oh, oh, well, that's just a case. No game, but it does have a power cable and stuff right here. So clean the dust off that. Still an easy hundred bucks. Hey, if you haven't taken a second to leave the video a thumbs up, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for us and subscribe if you're new because we're always buying storage units. We love them. We got a pillow. Oh, a sign pillow. Who is that signature? Whoever number five is. Whoever number five is, racing fans, help me out. I don't know anything about racing other than they drive in circles. That's my limited knowledge. This is Dale Earnhardt. Blue Devil, yeah, <laughs> Dale Earnhardt and Rusty Wallace. That's a Blue Devil's clock right here, still in the plastic and sealed. That's nice. It's got one of those hologram stickers on it too. That's always a good sign right here. And this right here was one of the main reasons we bid on the unit. This was visible from the door which is another signed Duke ball. Obviously it has a case, but there's no bottom to the case. So the case is kind of useless, unfortunately, but it's got a bunch of signatures on it. This guy obviously had some type of connection to Duke where he's either a big fan or he went there himself, something like that. But this thing is all kind of signed. Probably just gonna get rid of the case and sell the ball because it's just gonna mm -hmm. add $30 to shipping for yeah. a $10 case. It's not even complete. So nah, we'll go here. This sign too, 
It is. Look at this, a little Duke Nike ball. The signatures are kind of faded on that guy, but they're still there. Probably they're hard still to there. sign it with the bumps no, in it. No, it is. <laughs> it's got like one of those nice grips on it, so it's going to be harder to sign. But still, even I bet you just the Duke Nike ball is probably going to have some value on its own just because it's Duke and it's Nike, so we'll keep it for sure. Let's go into this right here because this, ooh, I really like this box already. This right here is a half mile. It's got a little NASCAR in it. I don't know if that's supposed to be in there and come with it or not, but it's in there. Look what I see. These beauties from Burger King. And the original box too. You don't find the original box too much. The golden Pokemon cards from the 90s. Who is it? Charizard. Charizard right here. It's still in the case, just falling out a little bit. There it is. It's got the little COA with it. It's got the box and it's got the Pokeball. That's a good little find here. Scoot this guy over, put him back in there, scoot him over. And then let's keep going in here. Oh my gosh. Yo quiero Taco Bell. <laughs> Who remembers a little Taco Bell Chihuahua? That is just so nostalgic there. Then let's see another race car right here. This is, it looks like there's something stuffed in there. That might be, yeah, it is a t-shirt. You can see the bottom. It's got a t-shirt stuffed in there. Huh. What does it say? Carolina, no, oh, is that the Carolina Panthers? Oh, it Panthers, is. Panthers, yeah. Huh. That might be worth some money. That might be worth some money. Tony the Tiger, this storage unit is great. great. Perfect. Another Yo Quiero Taco Bell dog. That one has a party hat though. Oh yes, he's rich in RuneScape. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, is there something in there? Doesn't sound like it, but... It does sound like it though. Ooh, hold on. Oh my gosh, I kind of remember. These are little things they used to hand out at the grocery stores. I feel like it is. Uh, some papers. That's oh, literally it. Probably a lighter. It I'm might have been a lighter. Either. Once upon a time. This is... Oh, there's something in here as well. What is that? Let's see. Come here, come here, come here. Papers, papers. Oh, what's that? Reward card, too. This, is that a hockey puck? That is it some is. kind of hockey puck. Ice caps. Ice caps on it. Hmm. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's see what these are. Get out. Is this something signed? That's Baltimore. That's probably Orioles Stadium. Then this right here is a look back, look ahead. Oh, oh it's a middle yearbook. school yearbook. Okay. And then there's an old Coca-Cola can. There's another, like, one of these tins. I want to see if this one's got a lighter in it or something. They're so shut. Oh, what was that? A pin just flew out of it. It is supposed to have a Zippo lighter. You see that? Okay. But it's not in there. It just had a pin in it, so huh, kind of random. So let's see. There's a Duke Coke can. There's some random golf balls in there. Here's some more tins. Let's see. Oh, this one's this is heavy. That's got the watch in it. Look at that. Is that the cornflake chicken? Looks like it. I haven't seen that in a long time. Are they out of business? I feel like I haven't seen them in a while. Yeah, I don't know. At least they're commercials. Oh, this has got basketball cards in it. I was about to try to open it, and I realized it was just an upside down thing with some basketball cards, including some some sealed packs of football and just oh look there's a Cal Ripken Jr. card I mean no telling what could be in here I'm pretty sure we sold one the other day at a whatnot auction that said Shaq's rookie on it I don't even know if it was actually Shaq's rookie or not but we just sold it I don't even look at the cards I just sell them so then we got a bunch of baseballs a bunch of golf balls the Chick-fil-a cow right here and the rest of it kind of looks random other than this one race car let's keep pulling stuff out like this beer drinking champion trophy all right that's what it's all about <laughs> that's what it's all about and check this beauty out right here oh oh there's two beauties okay let's, let's get this one first this is a duke jersey in like pristine condition definitely it doesn't have a number on the back this looks like more like something a fan would wear not it's an actual bottom. player wear. sports just the name, okay. Coliseum, XXL. probably the brand. So that's cool. I also want to let you guys know, guess what? Tuesday, we're having our first whatnot auction of the month of September, guys. And we're going to be selling off everything you can find in this unit for a dollar, including this freaking Letterman jacket that I looked up when we found it. It was going for like $300. I'm going to sell it starting at $1 or whatnot on Tuesday, September 3rd. So if you have not already downloaded the app, first off, it's the greatest online auction app in the world right now. It's my absolute <laughs> favorite. I won't sell using nothing else. So there's a link on the screen. Look at Pee Wee. Pee Wee's going to be there too. That is creepy and old. I talk. Pull a string. Where? On the back. Here's a string. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. He still talks. Guys, click the, use the link on the screen or click it down in the description to download the WhatNot app. Sign up using that link and you'll get a free $15 to spend wherever you want. It does not have to be with us. I mean, it'd be cool if it was, but it doesn't have to be. You can spend it with anybody. <laughs> and then simply download the app and sign up using the information you just created. And look us up. Our name is at THWGMIS on there. And you'll already see the show for Tuesday scheduled. You can bookmark it. And it's gonna be super fun. It's gonna be super fun. Oh my gosh. Speaking of whatnot, this is about to be a whatnot beautiful box right here. Like this brand new sealed Star Trek collection and set. Going to whatnot for a dollar. Collectible watch. This very beautiful antique clock. 
right here. I don't know if it's really antique, but it, it looks old, right? It has that old look to it. Going to whatnot for a dollar. This race car right here. Oop, definitely in there. It's a number 11 Jason Jarrett. And it looks like once upon a time, it was 35 bucks. A lot of these go up in value. Guess where it's going? What not for a dollar? Even this man who did not have sexual relations with that woman <laughs> is going to what not for a dollar. Put him over here too. And okay, probably not the chest. Oh my gosh, speaking of lighters, we Whoa. finally found it. We found this to go with the knife we found earlier in the unit. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god. What, is, what are you lighting? Like a Cheech and Chong blunt? Oh, it's sparking. Yeah, that's pretty wild. Guess where it's going? What not a dollar? Make sure you guys sign up using that link because it's going to be awesome. I don't know what this Ooh, is. This mystery is, white box. Let's see what the mystery white box is because whatever it is, if it's nice, guess where it's going? <laughs> what not? Ooh, Nolan Ryan. Hey. $30 a plate. back in the day. Nolan Ryan commemorative plate. Cool. Ooh, it's got a COA with it and everything. There's only 10,000 of these in the world right cool. here. Guess where it's going? What, what not? not? $1. Sign up using that link and we'll see you guys there. Let's go to this box with the New Balance box in it right here. Do we have some shoes? Definitely not some shoes. We have, oh, this is the one that was at the front of the unit. I remember seeing this. So check this out. Red, no, there's no way that says Reggie Jackson. You see that? Yeah. Hmm. The problem with these are, we don't know who signs them when they just put them in boxes like this. You know what I mean? This can be some guy down the street that played minor league once named Reggie Jackson. But all of these balls here, I don't know anything about them. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put them in a giant lot and I'm gonna throw them on whatnot for a dollar and let whoever knows what they're looking at get a heck of a deal. I'd rather have you guys have fun and come back and spend countless hours researching it. Look at that, that's cool. That's when we need to start putting on our units. When we buy a unit, <laughs> yes. we're gonna lock it up with that. <laughs> see, see somebody trying to break into that. Let's go into here, what is this guy? That's Panasonic. A Panasonic camera, is it actually in there? There's the instruction manual. Oh Wow, it's like new. A Panasonic Easy. camera, Easy. that is cool. You gotta love it when it comes in at its own nice shipping box and right. everything and it's nice. <laughs> That's the best case scenario. Is that it? No, what is this guy? What is this? Whoa, check this out. These are old baseball pins. That's it's pretty in cool. Spanish. Is it? Oh yeah, league. Yeah, I could have read it. That would have helped. But that is cool for sure. <laughs> pins are randomly worth a lot of money too. That's a cool thing. Definitely going to be on the whatnot show. I also want to mention, you know, guys, we're going to be giving away a $100 gift card to somebody random on that stream. You don't have to buy nothing. All you have to do is have an account and follow us. So you might as well sign up and get the free 15 in case you want to buy. If you don't buy, you still have a chance at 100 bucks and you get to watch a fun show. So you might as well. Let's go into here. Oh, no, it's empty. But that was a Rosie International Quality Firearms. It's got his name. He bought this uh, November 21st, 2005. It's got the serial number and everything. What kind of pistol was it? Get off here. I don't care about your stuff. Oh, it was a freaking six shot 357. <laughs> no. Now that could be somewhere in there though. So now, now I'm just excited to look through boxes even more. Like I haven't been all along. This thing, whatever it is, is busted open. So let's see. Really old box. Ooh. Nice. Is that jewelry in here? What is this? Let's see. Whoa, what are these? Huh, limited warranties and just random papers. Huh, okay, I'm gonna keep that in there. That'll probably go to one or two in like a random box because some of them might be cool. Here's a designer fashion jewelry. There's a little cross in there. That might be somebody's picture, but look at all this mixed jewelry. These rings and stuff, who knows what could be gold in here. Like I said, I don't even look. I'm just gonna check a couple of these rings. I bet rings. you a lot of them are real. I bet you they are too. Yeah, this guy's 14 karat already. That's 14 karat gold. This one right here is, I see the marking right there, 10 karat gold. This guy right here is, turn around, 10 karat gold. I mean, every ring I pick up so far is gold. And I'm probably, oh, that's a class ring. What is this one? These are usually gold too. Yeah, 10 karat. That's probably 200 bucks right there on its own <laughs> and just gold. And then let's see if we go in there further. I don't know about these pins and these necklaces. There's a Zippo. See, look, United States Forces, Thailand. Look, at, there's another ring right here. Does this one say anything on it? It's marked too. Doesn't it just seem like the unit 10K. to where they wouldn't have any fake jewelry? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> 10K. I mean, how much just gold do you think that is? It's probably four or 500 bucks at this point in just gold weight. There's race. more back there. Is Reach. there? Oh, look. Okay, hold on. Let's do this. Let's just do this. I just want to look through it now. Like I said, is that a gold penny? What the heck? A gold penny. Hmm. There's some of these pictures. Remove that aside. But I mean, this just looks cool. There's something sterling silver. You see another ring? Whoa. Oh, that. Imagine if that's gold. That's probably, no, this is, um, it just says Speedle 
USA. Okay. I don't know what that means. Any but I mean, rings? this is why I don't see I mean, no more rings. There's some necklaces. Yeah, there's all kinds of necklaces in here. This right Earrings. here. Does it say 14K on this pendant? Hold on a second. I can't see it. The lock it's dusty. It. No, it says like Hugh on it. Never mind. It looked like 14K. It's like a little heart pendant. It might be gold. I have no idea. We're probably going to take all this gold or all this jewelry and everything here. Just put it in a lot and auction it off starting at a dollar and whatnot. You guys better show up. Next box is right here. Look at this Budweiser Holiday Series Stein. These are cool. I know there's a lot of people that collect these uh, Steins, especially the Budweiser ones. So mm -hmm. definitely going up for auction. This guy looks like maybe some type of amp or something. Yeah. I'm not too sure. Put that here. Here's a little flashlight, brand new. Okay. Light. Mini battery light. Nice. There's a brand new knife. Multi tool. Nice. What is this? Oh, yes. Here we go. This is what I buy units for. Forget all the valuables. I want the oh, so 10 good. years old expired chocolate. Let's see, good. Now actually it's March 17, 2018 is when it expired. It's only six and a half year expired chocolate. Probably still tasty. <laughs> There's some pill bottles. What is this guy? Come here. Ew, that's nasty, whatever it is. I'm not gonna worry about it. And then the rest of in here is just, yeah, random junk. What is that, what is that? It's, oh, a tablet, but it's cracked. When I bid on the unit, I saw this box, and like anyone that buys units, you assume what? This is just empty, right? But right. not at all, not at all. This is far from empty. Check out this uncharted PlayStation 4 right here. How do I open this thingy? Over here. Right here. Come here, open up, open up. I never actually opened it. I just felt that it had weight, so I assumed it was all in there. So let's see. Let's see what's actually in there. Well, there's a PS4. But, oh, it's right here. It probably just fell off just... from being stored. This just clips on, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. I think that just clips on. But that's in there. And then we have headset. Aww. Oh. Headset's not too good. God dang it. Headset's broken. <laughs> but that's a five controller, isn't it? I Remember? don't I don't know anything about PlayStation. I don't know anything about PlayStation either. I'm an Xbox person, but okay, this I don't know if it works or nothing, <laughs> obviously, because that tops off. It looks like it just clips on, but what I was gonna say is it doesn't matter. I'm still gonna put it in the auction and start it at just one dollar. So even if it doesn't work, you can still flip it on eBay for 50, 60 bucks all day. And if it does work, that's probably, I don't even know, the special edition Uncharted 4 one, probably at least a few hundred bucks. But I told you the front of this unit's amazing. It wasn't lying. We got the PS4, which by the way, that top just slid right back on. I just put it back on, so I'm sure it'll work. But check this guy out. This is somebody from Duke, signed and authenticated with the coa right here that is beautiful there's that guy signed authenticated and here's his twin brother right here with boom another one this one's got the coa right here nice frame job as well like these the framing autographs and stuff is not cheap so the fact that these are already framed with coas and nicely matted in there they're going to be valuable for sure let's look in this box oh, this box kind of falling apart but let's see if i can get it over there uh, please, please, please. <laughs> I beg you, stay together, stay together, stay together, stay together. Thank you. Okay, let's see what's in here. Uh, a Jay-Z Linkin Park collab <laughs> thing. Ooh, look, a Troy Aikman Cowboys card. It's in a sleeve. I always assume that the sleeve ones are more expensive. It might just be their favorite players. You never really know the real reason why they're in a sleeve. Let's see what's in there. Oh, it looks like it should have been a camera, but it's not in there. Just corroded batteries. It <laughs> yeah, just corroded batteries, you know. Good stuff. Tim McGraw, bear, in there and sealed, but the box looks like he got trampled by some horses. And then we have over here, oh look, here's another set of racing cards, and the one that's right on top is none other than Dale Earnhardt. Just like the other one we sold. Yep, yeah, just like that. This, I don't know what that is, it might be in there. It feels like it's in there, but look at all these cards here. I mean, here's another one that's still in the seal, another guy in the seal. And a bunch of loose ones. Here's another one. It's in a seal. I don't know why I'm calling it a seal. I guess case is a better word, but mm -hmm. just a bunch of random racing cards. And then we have some wrenches, another pack, and then a couple things of the collectible Coca Cola bottles. Let's go to this bag right here. Oh, let's see what's in here. It looks kind of random. Let's get this out for everyone. It keeps being bags in bags. Ah, this makes it all make sense. This is how we hit, got all this money, huh? <laughs> The Powerball. Why else would you have this? Unless you hit something. Yeah, that might that might make a lot more sense here. Why do I have all this collectible stuff? What the heck is that? The Geico? The Geico lizard. The Geico lizard. You could save 15% or more by switching to Geico on conscience. <laughs> There's another deck of cards. In here, it's just a bunch of randomness. There's some Hooter shot glasses, but that's look new. in here. That's new. Other than that, it's just like random magazines okay. and meh, random stuff. Let's set that aside and take this box right here. Oh. 
Okay, is this more of those, um, yeah, we've sold some of these last auction. The Jungle Book right here. Yep. Cup. This guy. Oh, that's a Dale Earnhardt clock, actually. That's nice. Then we have Aladdin right here. I see binders. Are they cards? I'm going to assume they're cards. Let's see. Boom. Yeah, what are those? I love Lucy cards. I love Lucy trading cards? 1991. That is very random. The stuff they've made cards off of. Huh. Definitely, definitely going to be on the Whatnot auction on Tuesday. Hey, Furbies. Random Furbies are worth good money, too, so that's always a good find. Mm -hmm. What is this? Just, oh, it's like yeah. a bird bottle. Like a flask or something? Yeah, exactly. Then this one here is some kind of card. A bunch of cards that are, what is that? Tracks, uh, more racing. Racing thing of cards right here. Put that one right there. And there's another, like, flask that probably goes with the other one. This one's just, what is that? Some kind of deer, it looks like, on there. I don't know. Yeah. That. And there's a ton of these little pins that are still in the original package. Daytona, Subway, these are all NASCAR pins, pretty much. This is a good lot here. We're gonna probably put all of these together and sell them as one big lot on the WhatNot auction. Don't miss it. A lot of these are old. I see 90s, early 2000s. That's cool. Let's go to this here. It looks like a camera bag. It actually says racing electronics. Oh, what the heck is this guy? This looks like some police radio suspects heading east. Now, right there. from my days, my younger days of going to NASCAR races, they, oh, is they that used to sell something to like listen in to pit crews. Well, I'd also probably imagine that freaking, I don't even know how many cars are on the track, but they're that many, they're probably so loud you can't hear yeah. nothing anyway. So yeah. probably what that's for. Maybe you put it on there and you can hear what's going on a little bit. Makes sense, makes sense. So I don't know what something like that's worth. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments if that's something we should put on the whatnot auction. This guy had a lot of antique like bar stuff and a lot of it was busted when we found it, but this one seems to have survived, luckily. So a lot of it was broken. And the back of the date is January 23rd, 1984. So I mean, this thing's 40 years old and it survived. It's a Miller time. I bet you that's worth something. A lot of bar collectors and alcohol collectors, man, they sell very good. Shipping's just gonna be the issue with something like that. This box looks freaking amazing. I see weapon galore. Let's see what we have. Well, first off, a beautiful axe with like a chain at the bottom. Let's see, what do we have to test it on? Neighbors? No, okay, well, let's put it here. It looks pretty cool. We have that, and then we have, ooh. Okay, come here now, come on. This guy, right here. Got a nice little thing over the tip of it. This is actually nice. It's got a wood handle on it. Mm -hmm. It's dirty because it's been in storage for you know, who knows how long, but really nice. This guy, nice sheath. Ooh, that's beautiful too. We're gonna have a freaking epic auction on Tuesday. Let me tell you that. That is for sure. It is going to be insane. Well, look at this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I may be 30, but I'll always be a kid at heart. If I get a sword, I'm not going to not make sound effects and pull it from the waist. If you do, you're a loser. If you don't, I mean, you're a loser. If you do, you're cool. That was another one. Yeah, it probably goes with that guy. That's good. It's just dirty. They're made in Pakistan. I see the maker's mark there, so that's pretty cool. Is there anything else in this box? Oh, yeah. What is that? Oh. Ooh. Whoa. Is that Alfonso Soriano? of the Yankees. I've seen the Duke ones. I didn't see this one. That is nicely signed and it doesn't have the COA with it, but it's got the sticker right there, which is just as good as the COA. You can use that and look it up and see that it's authenticated. It looks like it was actually bought from the MLB's website right there. That's what that sticker right there means. But I am uh, not really a baseball fan, but before my dad died, he was probably top three biggest Yankees fans in the country. Like it was ridiculous. And we went to quite a few of the Orioles games. I remember watching Alfonso Soriano play. So that's pretty cool right there. That is pretty cool. Let's see what else is in here. This is, whoa, this is signed by a bunch wrestlers? of wrestlers. Yeah. yeah, a bunch of wrestlers, huh? You know what? I'm yeah. so glad I found the Powerball shirt because it's starting to make all this make sense now. It's starting to make all this make sense. This guy probably won a lot of money and didn't really know how to, you know, manage it and just bought everything that he could find that was cool. Duke magazines, kind of respect it. <laughs> oh, look. That's a uh, certified magazine sign right there. There's a certificate of authenticity with that as well. This says do not bend on it, so I can assume there's probably something else in here. So, oh, well, oh. it's empty. Oh, well, hopefully <laughs> find it. I was about to say, it might have been that. Maybe that was in there once upon a time and it slid out. Maybe. There's more in here. Hold on. What is this magazine or newspaper article? Let's see. President Slane. Wait, is this... 
Who is Johnson this Johnson takes for? office. Suspected wow. government question. $15. 1963. That is cool. This is so cool. I love this unit, man. This unit was so cool. You know, we almost didn't buy this because we were coming back from vacation and we'd have to rent a U-Haul, drive four hours the other way, but I was like, I have to get it. Oh, look, here's another signed thing. I'm guessing that was probably, you know who that is? No. But I'm guessing that was probably once upon a time, right in this sleeve like that. And then this is, that's signed too. Look at that, this is wild. This is just absolutely wild. Is that it finally? Yeah, the rest of this box is just filled with packing paper. Wait, hold on, hold on. I may have spoke too soon. What is that? Oh, never mind. I just saw plastic. I thought something was wrapped up. Yeah, it's just packing paper. Another box right here. I think I see more race car stuff in here. I was gonna here. say biscuit premix. Sweet. No, this is a lot of more cars racing. I mean, we sold a lot of these last time. They do sell good. We put them in lots because there's so many of them. I mean, look, there's Dale Earnhardt again. But when there's so many of these, we probably, if we wanted to maximize profit, you would do these one at a time. But I'm looking to give people deals and get the stuff moved. So we sell them in lots of probably two, three, something like that. I mean, this box is just, look at this. There's probably 40 of them in here. I mean, I just say two or three bucks a piece. They usually sell for more than that. What? What about it? looks it? like, okay, I was making sure he also didn't actually find it. Oh, uh, but I mean, even if, that's probably at least a hundred bucks I was gonna say. So let's just make it easy, but I'm gonna say at least a hundred dollars in there. Check out these little cast iron bank. Hey. Hey, there's money, oh. This one's got money, money in it. Hey, there's a stopper. Where? Wait. It does have a stopper on it, but no, it's like. Oh wait, it's a cast iron thing. Uh, <gasps> let's see what's in there. Maybe it's silver. No, not quite, just some change no, in there, no. but. Still, these cast iron banks are not cheap by any stretch of the imagination. They're worth some good money. Get out of there, all the money out. There, I'm keeping the change because I like a change star. And they very rarely, I think I've only found maybe one ever that actually still has the stopper thing with it. That's usually not in there at all. So that's a good, I don't know how much value that adds, but definitely gonna add something. It's and Uncle Sam. Up. Nice. And then we have this guy, cast iron as well. He doesn't have no money in there. Ironic, because this one says the bank on the side right here. Yeah. It has no money. <laughs> <laughs> See, but, it looks, they're both Uncle Sam, but one's like a green base and one's a blue base. But yeah, cast iron banks, cast iron in general is collectible. A lot of people love to collect it. So let's go to this box now. We're just going to keep moving right along. SpongeBob SquarePants. Yay, 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 yay. Ooh, what does it look like? Um, Laundry lint, like the stuff you pull out the dryer, doesn't mm, it? Yeah. In there. And then we have, well, what is that? That's somebody's name on it. There's, that looks like the place, that is the PlayStation 2 like hookup right there. Hmm. I'm about to say it looked like that. I'll put that aside because we have, we already found a PS2 last time. This one's just got dirty clothes in it. Okay. Another box right here. Let's see what's in this guy. It looks like collectibles again. Ooh, this is probably the police belt or security belt or something. Nothing's in there except for this. It's just freaking gloves. That race car dog. And this, I wanna, I'm curious if it's in the poster too. I hope it's signed. Check that out. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Mark McGuire. Look at that. It comes with a syringe. That's so cool. No, I'm joking. Wow. <laughs> right there. That, let's, we'll get to that in a second. But, oh, look at the, the that's just nostalgic King looking. Griffey. That's cool. And then a uh, little car here. Stop running. Let's see what's in the poster too. Hopefully something signed. There's something in there for sure, but I don't know what it is. Come out, come out, come out. They somehow stuff these in here so tightly. Like I remember when I used to get my UFC posters, this is how they would come and it's like, you don't know how many I've accidentally ripped because they stuff it so tight. Let's see, oh, that's signed somebody. Steven. Oh, it's ripped. Holland? It's ripped, but it is signed. It's got like a COA and everything right next to it. There's only 300 of them on the planet and this oh. one's signed. Well, at least like the number right there isn't ripped the, or the autograph. Yeah. It's like the best possible place it could have ripped. It barely touched the painting. It didn't touch the autograph or nothing. That's a good find. We got a whole bunch of stuff off the back of the truck. Let's see here. I guess technically the front of the truck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't even know we had another one. Dang. Look at that. Oh, okay. Ooh. Ooh, still the thing. That is a Duke's basketball. Still in the case. Signed right there. Is this paper a COA with it or what? Let's see. This is, thank you for shopping with it. Yeah, it's Christian Lanther autograph Duke ball. One of one. And look. That a, that's a JSA right there. Bang. Nice. Gotta love it when it has the COA. I know. Guess where it's going? What not? One dollar. Tuesday. Don't miss it. This big guy right here. Ooh. I don't know what this one is, but I feel like it's gonna be good. Everything in this unit's been great. This is I'm gonna be able to pull it out one of here. the best units, I think. Oh, it's a picture of something. Let's see. I'll hold the box. Okay. Oh. Whoa. Look at this. Oh. Okay, that's just 
Nice. That's oh, that's part of the court. Whoa. That's part of the court framed with two signatures, and it looks then like the picture right here. Marilyn. Let's see. Mike Krasuski and something Bill like Foster. That. Any COA or something in there? There is something else in there. Let's see. Hold on a second. Ah. This is a whoa. They paid 260 bucks for this in what's the date? 2017. So probably going up a little bit in value for sure. Nice. Let's put that right there. I'm gonna take all this and just yeet it to our trash pile over there. And this is another looks like frame box right here. So you can only guess what's in there. Oh, Something very frame. nice. Oh, this one's NASCAR it. statement of authenticity. Who is it? Uh, Kyle Bush. Kyle Bush signed um, in, in the thing. Is it? What? So this is a, a piece of the oh, race track. Is that what it is? This one's not signed. Yeah, it's a collage with tire, it says on okay. here. Here's the paper with it from Fanatics. You know, hitting the lottery definitely makes sense. Like, this is, looks like somebody, like a sports fan that doesn't have too much money, then all of a sudden you have a million dollars. This is what most people would do that don't, you know, know how to handle their finances very well. So, let's go into here. Auction stuff. Auction stuff. <laughs> Ew. That's pretty dirty, whatever it is. Oh, that's a nice camera. The, the bags. Inside's fine. Yeah, that camera's fine. This is a optical 22 zoom JVC compact VHS. Some of these are worth some money, these older cameras. So let's set that guy aside. Oh, that's nostalgic. The Bernstein Bears. Look at him. Why is there peanuts in there? It's like they hid all uh, this stuff was all stored like under a nut tree. It's yeah. really random. What is this old hat here? It's that like looks a train old. Hat. Yeah. There's a tag on it. Oh, is it? Let's see what this say. It has a $15 price tag on it. It says Red Cap Railroad 14 slash 85. Mm -hmm. Not sure what that means exactly, but that. And then this guy here is just a tube of some sort. So let's just scoop this box over. Well, that looks like a military bag. It's not the military. It, no, it looks like a CPAP tube. Is oh, okay, like okay. But let's go to the laptop bag here. Do we actually have a laptop? Nothing's in the front pocket. In the middle pocket is, ooh. That feels like it's in there. Nintendo mm -hmm. 3DS. Come on. Come on. Oh, nice. look at that. That's clean. A Nintendo 3DS XL. And it's got games with it, too. It's got, um, let's see, Wheel of Fortune and Classic Games Overload. There's one in there, too. There's one in there. Let's see what that is. Do you have to push it push in? Push in, yeah. Let's see. This is uh, Mario Kart 7. Cool. Nice. This is, these are expensive. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm going to do with it? I'm going to put in a whatnot for a dollar on Tuesday. <laughs> Somebody's going to be able to get that up for auction. There is a... Is that a DVD player yet? Mobile DVD player? These are actually worth around 20 bucks or so still. Mm. That's pretty nice. And then the rest of what's in there is just a bunch of wires. I'm gonna set this aside just in case there's a Nintendo wire that goes to that 3DS so we can have the charger. This is a leather jacket. What for, oh, it's a Wilson's, the leather expert. Jeff sold these before. They usually get like 50 bucks pre-owned. These are not cheap jackets. Nice Wilson's leather jacket. Probably gonna be on the what? Not auction on Tuesday starting at a buck. So that's cool. This we have, well, there's not much in this one. This is a James Bond Auto something 007. Auto Collector gyro. set, that. The Duke's koozies, a book, and a Redskins box. Nothing too impressive in there. What's this guy right here? Some type of doll, it says. What's the brand on that say? Heritage Collection, okay. Let's, ooh, nicely wrapped. Oh, what's that? Certificate of Authenticity right there. Check that out. Yeah. Clean. Really nice, yeah, clean and new. Clean and new, definitely an auction item right there. Let's go to this box here. Ooh, what are these? It looks cool, whatever it is. Let's see, whoa. Drag racing? Whoa, hold on, yeah. Nice, look at that. Yeah. These are some type of drag racing cars and there's one, two, uh, oh, here, come here. Valvoline, King Kenny, and Tony Schumacher. Nice. Three of them all in the box. Little box here. Let's see what's in the little box. I think I see a car right on top. Oh, yeah. Another one of these, uh, what are they, 124 scale metal cars. They usually go for about 30 bucks. Could go for more depending on the driver or the, you know, limited the run, how limited the run is. Let's see what this one is. Is this another one? And we have another race car. One. Oh, you can see inside that guy. Look, it's like an Eminem one here. Hmm. Kyle Busch. It's ooh, one of 120. That's a very limited run, actually. Only 120 of them. I bet you that one. It's got some value to it for sure. Oh, look, here is the thing. They paid 112 bucks for it once upon a time. Wait, it says autographed. Where is it autographed? It says on the thing autographed. Maybe the actual car is. Maybe. Might uh, I don't know. I don't want to take it out. Yeah. But look, you can see um right here what they bought it says it's autographed right there for 112 bucks i'm gonna keep that paper with it yeah. so you know whoever gets it can have that 
And that's all for that box. So let's just scoot these guys over here. That's a cool whatnot item for sure. Let's go to, oh, big box right here. Ay, ay, ay. Do you think this guy, this is just a guess. You think he was a Dukes fan or anything? No. No, I didn't think so either. But just, you know, throwing it out there as a possibility. Here's a collectible Club of America, some big truck or something. I hate when it doesn't show a picture on the outside. Like, I want to know what it looks like, but I don't want to have to take it apart. A drag oh, it's another drag one. Nice. All right, let's put that back in here. And At least it was easy to put together. <laughs> I'm just going to put the top there with it. Old Barbie lunchbox. Something in is it. that the thermos? Hopefully it's the thermos. They don't usually come. Hey! Hey! The thermos. That's rare. 1990 Barbie lunchbox with the thermos. You know, I remember having a plastic lunchbox with a thermos. I had a Dragon Ball one. I can't even find it. Like, I try to Google it on eBay. I, it's like it doesn't exist. It drives me crazy. Here's like a racing shirt and a racing hat. A couple hats there. There's another shirt in there. It's just a t-shirt. Oh, look. Die cast cars. Well, another lunchbox. Days of Thunder. It's got something in it, too. Do we have two thermoses? Two thermoses? Let's see. Hey, nice. This is sweet. This is sweet here. Snap on just a license plate cover. A couple semi trucks. Got it for five bucks once upon a time. Who knows how long ago that was. A Duke University Barbie. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing. How old is this? 1996. 28 year old Duke University Barbie. That's cool. Here's a couple old Hot Wheel trucks. This had $10 tags on them at the time. So that might be 30 bucks right there back then. It might have gone up in value, hopefully. And then we got. Let's see, trucks, 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 more trucks. Big limited, one of 5,000. This one's limited, that one's limited. I mean, just the amount of collectibles this guy has is just insanity. But don't you guys, I mean, you tell me in the comments. First, leave a comment saying this storage unit is crazy. That's how we know who really watched it. But doesn't this make sense? Doesn't this just seem like somebody that hit the lottery and went ham? It all makes sense to me now. Look at that. More race cars right here. I just realized that one has a $25 price tag on it too. And back then, is this a camera? Whoa, that's a weird looking camera here, but it looks like one for sure. What is this thing? I don't even have an idea. Oh, another camera. that's an old camera. Huh, that's cool. Other than that, it's just some kitchen stuff that's in there. Let's look at this guy here, especially these poster tubes. Remember the one we found that was ripped? Well, that one's empty. The one that was ripped, I looked it up and that artist has a Michael Jordan print that's selling for over four grand. And since Michael Jordan's originally a North Carolina guy, it kind of excites me because you never know what you can find in one here. One of these could be worth 4,000 bucks. This is a NASCAR or something. Is it signed yeah, or just a poster? Sprint Cup Series, just a poster. I don't see anything. Oh, okay. Just a poster on that guy. Let's put it here for now. Maybe it'll... Don't roll, please. Don't roll. It's going to roll. Put that there. <laughs> Stopper. Hockey bobblehead one. I think we sold one of these, didn't we? This is probably the other mm -hmm. four. Yep. There was a set of four. I mean five, sorry. We sold one. There's the other four. So there's that. There's a NASCAR thing. This oops, binder right here. Boom, full of more, more cards. That'll definitely go. And then we have a bunch of poster tubes to open. This poster tube has like the same stickers as that other one. So we're going to assume that's what that is. Let's just put that one here. If it has those stickers. Okay, this one has nothing. But it's empty. empty. Dang. Okay, fair enough. This one, same sticker. This one, okay, not empty. N different. No sticker, I mean. Let's see. There's a racing one. Is it the same kind of thing now? Basically, it's looking for signed ones. All the unsigned ones will probably just lot up. Any signatures? No. No. The unsigned ones are probably just going to put into a big lot eventually and auction them that way. Let's put that over here. Then this one's got the same exact kind of NASCAR thing on it right here. And then if we have two more here really quick, let's just open these two poster tubes right here and see if we got lucky in one of them. Please, 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 please. And I'm knocking stuff everywhere. <laughs> let's see. Come on. Please be so. Oh, Duke University something. Yep. There's signatures at the top. There are? Yep. Nice. Go I don't even want to know if I want to keep opening it. It just says 2018, be worthy, Duke basketball, and all the signatures are right at the top. Sweet. There's like a lot of them? Like the whole team, you think? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, that's freaking awesome. This definitely might. Oh, that is really nice. That might have to go to the auction for sure. Hey, paperwork going away. Okay, then we're running out of table space. Let's put that right here. And then I'm going to open up this one. This one costs $4.45 to ship. Let's. What the heck? Nothing in that one, huh? That's huh. crazy. I just realized I'm kind of an idiot. I just looked in the same one I already opened. I was like, why is it missing a top? Oh yeah, because the other top's sitting on the table. <laughs> this is the one we didn't open yet. Okay. Let's see, come on now. That was a really stupid moment there. I felt it in my heart. Uh, what is that? Duke basketball signatures, 2019-2020. Oh, nice. These these are good. Both of these, I think, are just gonna go for whatnot auction for sure, starting at just a dollar. 
check this out. That is like a very old clown painting. If you look on the back of it, it's got this whole little label rundown on it. That You can just tell by that label, this thing has got some age to it. It doesn't have an actual date to it though, so I don't know how old it is. If anybody has a guess, let us know in the comments. That's a pretty cool piece right there. And then we got ooh, two of these like, I call them man cave racing things where they're like on wood actually. It's not even a frame. Look at that. Just literally put right on wood. And then this one again is boom. There we go again. And they both have um, $20 price tags on them, which they were probably bought for that price. Pfft, who knows how long ago. $20 in the 90s to today's inflation is like seven grand. So <laughs> it's worth some good money. And then we have, let's see, this drone actually in here. Let's see. Ooh, look at that. The whole drone's in there. That's definitely 100,000% hitting the whatnot auction on Tuesday for just a dollar. This was kind of visible from the picture and I looked up this brand of train and they are not cheap and that sucker damaged box, but you can see it right there and I can tell you by the weight, whatever this is, it's completely full. It has a $165 price tag on the top, the original one, but usually trains go up in value quite a bit from the original price tag. I'm hoping that's the case for that. This little guy right here, Hey, my favorite cartoon character, Eric Cartman. My favorite guy right there. And then we have a couple PS4 games. Hey, in there. I'm going to add these to the PlayStation 4 auction. Oh, well, that one's not in there. I'll add the one that's in there. There's another one. That one in there? Yeah. I'll add those two games to the PS4 lot we already have going. What's in here? What is this? What is this? What is this? Uh, brand new nail polish. Still in the package. Okay. And this is, what the heck? Inspired by market. It was supposed to be like perfume or something, but is that it's what that in is? There? I think so. there's something there. in there, yeah. I think it might have just fallen out of the box. Come here. Yeah, still in there. Nice, nice, nice. We're just going to put that right here. Scoot this bag aside. Is this binder anything? No, that's just crap. What about this? Another game? That's empty cases. No. <laughs> what is that? Is it the one that we're missing? It's Far Cry 4. Cry. That's a good game. We'll put that here. Um, ooh, is that new? Uh, it's not a PS4. It's a uh, Blu-ray. Let's see. Nothing else, nothing else, nothing else. I don't know what that is. What does that say? Uh, Arise 2017 Conference. Yeah. Arise Youth Conference. Okay, what's, ooh, that's full right here. Whatever's in here is full. Let's see. In the, oh, just a bunch of screwdrivers and stuff. That'll definitely eventually make it to an auction. We have these four beautiful boxes here. I was about to try to pick that up with one hand. That wasn't about to happen. Let's see. So I'm guessing it's in there. Unless it's something else. No, look at that. Brand spanking new. Brand new set right there. And we have this PlayStation Racing We Oh, what is that on top? Some kind of signed something. Turn it over. That is. It's non a king point? card. Yeah. I don't know. That's what it says in the middle, non-point. So I wonder if it's like a band or something. That'd be my guess. It looks like a band poster. Oh, that's new. The PlayStation Racing Wheel is brand spanking new. Okay. Definitely, definitely auction. And then we have over here, Hamilton Beach. That's new. I forgot I cut this one. That's new because I didn't know what was in there. I cut it and I cut this one as well. That is a Keurig and that is also completely brand freaking new. Here's another Duke basketball. It's got a bunch of team signatures on it again, probably another entire team. That's pretty cool. It's sit right there, don't move, don't move, don't move, stay. Good job, it looks like proud of it. Okay, let's go to this. Whoa, what is this? This stupid, there we go. The bag was like holding it. There's some kind of glass bottles in here. They have a label on the bottom actually. What does that say? Avon 1876 Cape Cod Collection. There's no way these are from the 1800s. Avon's not been around that long, has it? 1800s? I have no, I have idea. no idea. But I'm guessing it's meant to look like that age. I know there's a lot of Avon collectors out there, so you guys can enlighten me in there. This is like an entire bag. That's what one of them looks like. Yeah, some of them don't have the stickers, and some of them do have the stickers like that. And some of them look like candlestick holders. Yeah. Um, different. I mean, there's different ones. This one just looks like around the base. Yeah, I mean, a they're pitcher. cool. Definitely cool, but I don't know if they're really that old. Something tells me probably not, but again, let me know in the comment section. Let's go to this right here. What is that? A Duke lamp. Is it a Duke lamp? Oh, it's actually taped. Come on, man. There we go. Uh, come on, open up. There it is. Is it actually a Duke lamp? That looks like some kind of lamp. It, ooh, it's like a Tiffany type one. Hmm. That one's always smoke. Oh, look. It actually does say Duke on it, but it's like one of those Tiffany style lamps right there. Mm. Unfortunately, it's not the best condition. It got a little smushed, but it's still there. What's this? This has got something in it too. Oh, what? 
I don't know what that is, and I don't know if I want to know. The rest of the unit is a bunch of moldy furniture, unfortunately, but this unit was insane. If you didn't see part one or part two, they're on screen right now. Make sure you check them out, and make sure you use that link to sign up for whatnot and show up to the auction on Tuesday, because it's going to be insane. One of our best ones ever. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, peace out.